Okay guys, today we're going to go and do a bit of magnet fishing. I've got the magnet here and we'll go and see if we can get some nails. That's about usually all I get. If you're new to my channel, uh, this is my little boat Gilligan. And obviously the channel is called Drifting on Gilligan. And uh, I started right down in the lower lakes uh, in South Australia, about near where the mouth is, at a little town called Meningi on Lake Albert. And am now up to my destination, Wentworth. And uh, I've been on the river for about three and a half, four months. And about to head back in a couple of days when the border opens up and uh, head home. But uh, let's go do a little bit of... Uh, magnet fishing but check the rest of the channel out videos out every Wednesday and uh, let's go find some nails all YouTube and everything on it is it? oh cool and uh, we put on the big tally before so my dad can see it beautiful yeah, that was the part we had trouble with the uh, the motor where he said it was in the needle of the seat oh yeah still the way up the at Bow Hill yep that would have been at Bow Hill you, you ate uh, Murray Marlin yeah yeah <laughs> the old Murray Marlin yep Beautiful stuff. <laughs> I've got the dreaded head cam. I'm going to try not to use it too much. Got it in my hand at the moment. Last time I used it, where was it? Eckett's Creek. She was a bit wobbly everywhere, but uh, I haven't got the chest one, so this is going to have to do. But what we're going to do today, we're going to go magnet fishing. I've got a magnet here. I've uh, sort of used it a couple of times just off of jetties and that. I'm pretty good at picking up nails and things like that but uh, they reckon try under bridges so we're going to try under Wentworth Bridge down there and then I'm not too sure what this creek is here but there's another bridge over there so uh, let's go and see if we can find some more nails or maybe something exciting like an old push bike but uh, we'll go for a bit of a paddle you can definitely see the different colour in the water from coming down from the Darling and this creek must come in from the River Murray. Got a tent over there to the left, looks like those people must live there. Went for a walk the other day, they were set up pretty well and there is uh, next to the PS Ruby there's some public toilets it's only about 50 metres from them. How you going mate, alright? I'm fine. I'm doing it easy. So what, you just, what are you doing? Just finish well, work? I'm, I'm doing nothing. I've got some camps up here, but what I'm doing is uh, pruning Blug's roses and doing his lawns for him. Oh, so that's your camp back up there? Oh. Mine, mine's that filthy damn thing up there. Oh, so there's another camp yeah, here. Yeah, camp here. Mine's clean. It took me three days before, two and a half days before I put my tent down to clean all the crap. So where's your tent? Back beyond that tree? Uh, yeah, it's straight. The old jail up there. Yeah. You come straight over there, it's down, but you can see it up top, it's got a red, a red thing up there. So what about the people camped down here? One person. One person. How long can they stay there for? Is there any rules? Oh, well, he's so he could stay there forever. Yeah, oh well, they take him clean the black men's stuff. He doesn't clean it. I, about once a fortnight, I've got to go and clean his place up. He, he gives me a couple of beers for doing it. I'll give him 20 bucks once. I said, why don't you just get a couple of plastic, I'll give him a couple of plastic bags every day, put your rubbish in. You know, cans in glass and like uh, everything else. And else. No. Do you know what this creek's called? Yeah, but I mean the actual creek we're in. Oh, this where you're in now? Yeah. Tucker's Creek. Sorry? Tucker's? Tucker's Creek. As oh. in like... Yep, Tucker. Tucker, Urs. Yep. As in, yeah, blood, long to a blood. Tucker's yeah. Creek. Ah, cool. Yep. Yeah, bro. Well, that was Carlton. Nice bloke. Oops, found my knife. <laughs> That's just in case it gets wrapped against my leg and uh, wants to take me down. So we'll try here, see how deep it is. Oh, not that deep. So we'll plop it up and down around here. Seems like it's about six feet deep, I reckon. Some funny noises coming from this bridge.
We got nothing yet. Bit of metal. Okay, we're not having much luck here under this bridge. It always feels heavy to me, but that's probably because the. Oh, hang on. Oh, we found something. Oh, oh. what do we got here? An ancient. Oh, shit. An ancient. Um, oh. I got no idea what that is. Maybe the outside of a barrel. We found something anyway. And a nail. Yay, we got a nail. We've got another bridge to explore yet, but uh, it has been a success. I'm happy. Looks like this is a private mooring site. And this area is right in between the River Murray and the Darling. So Darling straight ahead. River Murray out to my left, probably, I reckon those trees in the distance, probably about four or five hundred metres. And that takes you back to Mildura. Let's get back to the main bridge and do some magnet fishing. We've been pretty successful so far. We've got an old hunk of rusty metal and a nail. Pretty happy with that. And uh, we'll also get my knife. Show you how strong the magnet is. Whoa, bang, up she comes. So uh, pretty strong. Oh, bang! Forgot that uh, metal plate in my leg. <laughs> Got it. So this is Carlton's neighbour. Sounds like he lives there permanently. Nice little spot, beautiful. Just coming out of Tucker's Creek onto the Darling. Gilligan over in the middle there, surrounded by a couple of bigger houseboats. Okay, here we are, Wentworth Bridge. Let's see if we can find some nails. Now, I don't know how deep this is here, but we're going to soon find out. Pretty bloody deep. Oh, I'm not going to run out of cord. Oh. Wow, still going. Oh, just hit the bottom. Stop our magnet fishing for a minute. We got the nice little paddle boat, Shira Lee. Beautiful. I suppose it fits under the bridge. I don't know they're going to lie. Oh, we got people waving to them. Up on the top there. Slowing down a bit. Oops, 
it in reverse now. Shit, that's going to be close. They must have done it before. There goes the aerial. Easy. Okay, this one feels a bit heavier. We found a bolt. Look at that. Could have been a gun barrel, that would have been better. Let's say it's an old gun barrel. We found a filter. Looks like a filter with a metal side on it for a carby or something. And we've got another nail. You beauty. I'm going to call that a success. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice Murray Marlin. That's bigger than the one I speared. Yeah, that's one of those different ones with the different scales. Rainbow scales or something, I've forgotten what they call them. That is huge. What did you catch that on? Cheese. Cheese, yeah. Cheese. Yeah.